Right then, let's speak to Taylor about Greg. See what he's gonna say. Greg almost got someone pregnant, and I left him because he cheated. Ha! Caught red handed, this guy's buzzing, he thinks he's gonna get his dick wet. Or red fingered because it's in text. Sorry, mate, that sounds a lot different to me. Got caught red handed or red fingered. Maybe. Did you hear someone breathing there? Someone's breathing in my left ear. <laughs> Red fingered, you dirty man. Okay, that sound sounded weird that I typed it out. Who is the unlucky girl? Yolanda. Exotic name. You know, that sounds like motive to me. Messy break up fight, things got a little violent, who knows. I think you should call her and ask if she knows anything about Greg, like a second opinion. Get straight from the source. Great idea. Did he just call me Tiger? Remember, we are here for Anna. This is necessary, find Yolanda, find the truth. Okay then. I shall do it. So how are we going to ring? Yaba. <laughs> I wrote that. I did that. Right, how am I going to ring Yolanda? Ah, she's not going to be in the phone, is she? Since I don't know who it is. Oh, I do know the number, don't I? Gallery. Harrison Kane, 0405. Paris. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, it's Faris and Kane, not Paris and Kane. 1880 Faris Kane. 1880. Bling bling. Welcome Shit, what? To Faris and Kane, your personal shopper directory. Was zero four zero five to request for a shopper. Press two to ask about being a patron. Press three to find out more about our latest promo. If you wish to return to the main menu at any time, please press zero. Thank you. To help us select a personal shopper for you, please indicate what you would like to purchase. Press one for robes and cloaks. Press two for Bugs. dresses. Press three for innerwear. Press four for shoes and footwear. Press five for gowns. If you wish to return to the main menu at any time, please press zero. If you know the extension number of your favorite shopper, please press the four digit extension number. Thank you. Your personal shopper assigned to you is Yolanda. Yeah. Due to our increasing demand, we can only take a limited amount of clients at a time. After this call, please wait for us to text you at our latest convenience. Thank you for picking Faris and Kane. Have a nice day. Hey, yo, yo, Yolanda. Let's do it. I'm a beast at this game. Thanks for using Faris and Kane. My name is Yolanda and I'll be your shop today. How may I assist you? I'm looking for the best cock ring 
in a small size. Sorry, let, let's make that an extra small size, please. I need you to help. I need your help for other matters. I need you help for other matters. What the hell? I'm afraid we do not do returns. You have to contact ASQ for that. It's about Greg. Greg? Summers, who is this? What did that asshole put you up to? <laughs> so we both agree on something. So he ruined your life too. What else is new? Look, if you're looking for dirt on Craig, I'm not getting involved with him again. He's looking for Anna. Why do you need me for that? I think he's fully capable of finding that perfect little bitch. She's gone missing. As in missing. As in not, as in not missing. What do you think, missing? Yes, we need to call the police type missing. Or are you implying he did something that I highly doubt it? He didn't even have the ball to break up with me face to face. He's too chicken shit to be a criminal. So you two dated, he has two girlfriends. Ha. More like side girl booty call. He cheated, who the fuck is Brandon Key? Oh yeah, he cheated. I am all in for casual fun, but having a girlfriend all this time, that's a low blow. When she found out about me, all hell broke loose. And I end up being the other girl. How did it end? When it comes down to making a choice, of course, he went for Anna. And I get a half voice voicemail breakup. Damn. Right, and? Hey, Yolanda. We got your text. So... You know, now that the scare is over, you know, I think we should stop seeing each other, like, immediately. It's not just that it's, you know, it's been fun, but I haven't been completely honest with you. I have a girlfriend, and I want to make things work with her. We agreed to keep it casual, right? I hope you're not mad or anything, eh? No hard feelings. We agreed to keep it casual, right? Huh? Huh? Yeah, see? Ha, yeah, see? All makes sense. You have your dirt now. So are we done? At the end of the day, he still cares about her. If only he knows how to show it. Now everyone thinks I'm a bad person. It's not your fault. If I knew he had a girlfriend, I would have stopped immediately. Stupid me. How is it stupid if you don't know, though? Gotta get back to work, okay. Right now, who's this dude? Brandon K. I miss the days where opinions can only go as far as you can yell. <laughs> you little you, you cock oh I missed the days where opinions can only go as far as you can yell well you're doing the exact same thing you fucking pleb I hate you okay Brandon oh she's 57 minutes ago did I comment on that oh yeah I'm being held hostage I don't have much time help me why did no one reply is my safety not in anyone's interests what else happened here? Oh, we've got some chat and a vlogger. Lovers being there. Lovers being honest. 
this. Belonging. Hybrid. Hatred. What are you chatting shit for? Weapon. To put it simply, love is not being a complete twat. So just, just keep it simple. None of this belonging and all that bullshit. That's just, just keywords. The keyword, ding, 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 ding. Let's hit the keyword bingo. Fuck that. Right, Yolanda just called me. I just want to know the full story. No. I don't care about your excuses. You've crossed the line. <laughs> She's pissed and confused, so why are you bothered? You broke up with her, what's the problem? Had to be sure. My personal affairs have nothing to do with you, whoop to do I cheated on her. Now that's out in the open. Will you stop digging into my life and get back on track? I like how he thinks it's whoop to do like, I like guess nonchalant, who gives a fuck if you're cheating? Well, most people. Did you hear that? Someone just took a breath in the back row. I'm a Am I Anna? Like, I know that's a weird question. Like, am I a girl? I don't know. Hold on, let's just check in the pants. No, I'm still me. Right, um. Fine. Just stop and use your head for one second. Have you ever considered that what's his face from Spark is just dicking you around? Come on, what do you really know about him? He makes a lot of lewd jokes. What kind of nutcase will joke about someone going missing? It's like he lacks any kind of empathy. He sidetracked the investigation. But pointing the finger at me was his idea all along. And you said that I'm the one with things to hide. Won't be surprised if he had some kind of criminal record. He's just, he's just eccentric. But I'm not taking any chances with him. Look what I found. Spot related crimes saw as increased number of felons used dating after target victims. Right? National Sex Felon website. <laughs> I wonder what it takes to become a member. Is the membership easy? Number of crimes, blah blah blah. Did that say there's a number of ways to violate or vet a potential date? Trust your in the NSFW registry, the Not Safe for Work registry is a publicly available database of registered sex felons. What the fuck? So we're gonna search for what the fuck was that? Taylor Pereira. Six matches. Let me have a look. Age. I want to go to fucking that. Twenty two. What the fuck? Well, why why does it keep taking us back to this fucking page? 
so I can't just flip between apps. Bruh. Bruh. Age location. Fucking dog shit. Yeah, that is dog shit, that like. Why does it not stay on the same fucking web page? Location. Fine Studios. Oh, you click it by going there. I fucking, I want to fucking. Sounds horrible, and true. He said that Anna matched with several people on the spot. Anna's notebook mentioned that she met someone. I can feel we're getting close. Punch in all the names of her spot match to see what you can find. Right, well... Find the truth. Can I ask you something? Where are you? Where did you get your charm personality? Sorry. It can't be taught. It's a gift and a curse. Joke around a bit too much. Yeah, I've been told that my timing is the worst. I'm learning to read the room more. How do you find out where he is? Fine studios, but... Why can we not just fucking Google Fine Studios? That's not going to work. Right, let's have a look at somebody else. Oh, wait there. I got my eyes. Right. Are you hiding anything? Maybe we just have to keep talking to this guy until he tells us his location. Shouldn't trust Greg, basically, he's saying. Offline. Typical. Right, so let's do Mark. Oh, 
Oh no, we talked to them, man. It was Edwin. Edwin Bird, 23. No records found on War Ed, War Edwin. Dave C. Well, that's near good. Alex Grant, 27. It's gonna be nobody but him, is it? Not gonna be Fred. Why does it put us back at the top every fucking time, man? I don't know where I'm gonna find Taylor's fucking location. Check out my updates. I'm stuck, I need help. I don't understand. Just put their name, age, and location. How hard? I don't know the location. Hmm. Is he on Jabba? Ah, oh, Jabba. What did she say? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Springwood, oh that's very fucking clever. Right, how are Springwood. Oh yeah. Open and gross lewdness and lascivious behaviour. Indecent exposure and public sexual indecency. Decency. Someone's knocking on the door. Why? Yeah, you dirty bastard. Got him, bitch. What? Sport to Yolanda. The girl he cheated on with. You did it, buddy. He's a lover, not a fighter. So Greg is not the violent type, I assume. I guess my theory about Greg making Anna disappear is too far-fetched. An asshole, but not a criminal. But you, Josh Chen. You sure Greg didn't let anything slide? Can your source even be trusted? You're sidetracking us all. Hey. Greg is keeping something about Anna, I can feel it. Are you jealous of him? Why can I not ask him about his sexual profile? No, maybe a little. I mean, he's my competition after all. How can I compete with an ex? It's not a contest, mate. I know, I know. It started as jealousy and now become an obsession. He's hiding some dark stuff. Like you. You weren't completely honest with me. What are you talking about? Oh God. You found it, didn't you? <laughs> if you have something to say, spill it. You're a registered sex offender. <laughs> you s Oh, you're a hideous man, you. You found the damn register, didn't you? I know it looks really bad. A guy on spot being a sex offender is as bad as it gets, but hear me out, please. You five seconds. 
I'll make a quick. I want all the juicy details. Come on then, mate. I was at the mall, I had a huge glass of iced tea right before I got a pee. Real bad. The bathroom was closed on the floor I was on, and the next one was really far away. And then... So I went to the stairway and peed there. Then this lady with her kid came through the door, I was exposed. Next thing you know, lawyers were involved and I was charged. Is that your only crime? You gotta believe me! You can technically call me a criminal, but I would never harm another person. Come on, you can trust me. Said every guilty person ever. I know it sounds weird, but this is not about me now. I have to follow so many strict rules from the NSFW that I'm practically branded. Do you know how hard it is to find a job? Just lie about it. Lying is the way forward. I love a good lie, me. I'm not pushing my luck. If I mess up, I'm straight, it's straight to jail. Fuck off. You can't go to jail for pissing in a fucking iced tea, mate. How are Then again, I heard something. I don't know how true it is because it was probably in the fucking Daily Mail or something. Some shit newspaper. But, um... It's a while ago, this. There was a woman and her child complained that someone, a man, was completely butt naked in his house and they were offended because they looked into his window. I don't know how true it is. It's probably a load of shit, right? But... I'm sorry, if I want to walk about in my house butt naked with the curtains open and someone looks in and gets offended then it's entirely your own fault. Stop looking at me fucking window. If I'm pulling my cheeks apart, starfish showing to the whole world in my own house, I should be allowed. And if anybody looks in, then it's their own fault. They'll be scarred for life. Right, let's keep this between you and me. It's a real conversation starter. Don't play with me on this. I'm serious. Alright, okay then, okay then. I'll see what I can do, mate. Right, let's go. Jabba Jabba. Someone walked by me on the sidewalk and said, Hello, freak. I want to set the world to rights on this. Josh Chen, you absolute cocksucker. Right. Um, so, what's happening? Things are occurring here. Spark, Taylor. Shit, shit, I can't believe you actually did. I just told you not to tell anyone. I didn't. I didn't do anything. Greg. He added me on Jabba. Oh, he's definitely pissed. How the hell did he find me? I kept your secret, I swear. You know? I highly doubt that. Oh shit, he added me on his phone. Well, good. Busted. Nice. So we're in a three-way? Yeah. Taylor, got you now, you sex maniac. What the, who is this? How the hell did you get my number? Shut up, rebound guy. I'm the one and I should be with you. Stay out of this. Greg? It's about time you all work this out. How the hell do you get my number? The internet is, re is a resourceful place, especially for finding pervs like you. Wow. From cheating to stalking. Can somebody hand him the best boyfriend boyfriend of the year award? What I do in my private life is none of your business. You're the one who drove her away in the first place, which I agree with. How about I drive my foot up your dickhole? You guys are missing the point. We're all on point until shift for brain showed up. Look man. And I wanted to move on. Why can't you respect that? She will be better with literally anybody else but you. So Mr. I can't keep my pants up is somehow an acceptable choice for her. At least I don't have a criminal record. That's a low blow man. Enough. I'm sick of this shit. I'm only adding you here to be a witness so shut it. What the hell did you do to Anna? If you touch her... 
I'll watch. <laughs> How can I do anything if I haven't even met her yet? She mentioned that she is meeting someone from Spark on her notebook. Have you ever considered that there's literally millions of other lonely single men out there? Of course I did, and I'm starting with you. That's not working smart. I just want her back. There's a smarter way to do this. We're wasting time here. Now that you made it so clear, don't we all want the same thing? Same thing. Different reasons. Finally we're agreeing on something. I'm not agreeing with you. Are we bitches? Fucking calm your passions. Blah blah blah. Get your head in the game. We're all partly to be blamed. Agreed. Debatable. Is she going to be like this? Fine. I can prove that I didn't meet Anna. Fan fucking tastic. Show me. Oh, the light's going on in the background. My spot messages, it's all there. It will prove that Anna and I never planned to meet. He's telling the truth. No. I want to see it with my own eyes. Can you be any more insecure? Her phone. She cleared some data not long ago. And she backed it up on her home computer and the one at work. If I can access it, we'll have all the proof I need. Whoa. I think you're onto something. If we do that, we might be able to know who she met on Spark. Damn. That's true. Finally. Focus on what matters. Right, let's do it. These are getting along. Right, this conversation's going over. Can we get to the fucking finding the, the missing child, please? Ask around for help, blah, blah, blah. Get on the computer. What kind of shitty idea is that? I'll walk right in and get it done myself. It's going to be easy. Let's walk right in. Call her office. I won't walk right in, I would. Uh, no. Why? Already in pretty... How are we in trouble? We're not even in trouble. If you're too much of a pussy to do it, then fuck off. I know where she works. She works at a security company. You think that they're just going to let you waltz in? Are you doubting me? I'm just proposing alternatives. Both of you have good points. So why don't we do both? I think I'm, I'm with Greg, just walk in and get do, done. Let's find a more indirect way and just call one of her work friends. I know her better. She has no work friends. And what makes you think you can use her computer so easily? To be honest, I'm not going to let you walk in, to be fair, like... Taylor's idea is the best. Two to one favour. And that's how democracy works. I feel like we're becoming in sync. That's hilarious. Yeah. The the, the company near company's gonna let anybody random walk in and use the computer. Unless it's a police investigation, which it's not. I'm not working with a rebound guy and I'm gonna find Anna by myself. I'll get the backup from her workplace your way. I'll do my nice way. Well, good. But why don't we just say that? The first person to get it wins. Simple as that. If she did end up meeting you, you won't hear from it again. Greg left. Okay. So that just happened. That was really fun. Look. Sorry for the outburst. It's not meant for you. I just want to make things right. And I gotta do it on my own. Look, if we met on circumstances, maybe we would have got along. I doubt it, but there is a possibility. There, I said it. What? Why? Why did you ring me up to give us a fucking monologue? Right. We need to know who Anna is close with at work. Did you manage to check her emails? Okay, emails. Merv. That's right. Because Merv wants to get in her knickers, doesn't he? 
There's a guy who's harassing her. Harassment. Nailed it. You, you, we can use this. I love a bit of blackmail. I'm thinking what you're thinking. Let's do it. Use the email against him. Tell him that you are turning him in. Threaten him. Make him feel bad. I don't know. Ask him to do your bidding in exchange for the harassment email. I can work with that. If he's in the contacts, get started. Right, what's he called? Oh, it works. <laughs> sorry, sorry. No need to respond. I just want to try to call Anna's phone. See if it's working. Been trying to get it and I, I finally did. <laughs> I guess next is to find her. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Bye. What the fuck is this, guys? What's your malfunction, son? Right. Merv. Ashley, I've decided not to call Victor back. You remember him, right? Your spark date. Huh? No. The guy from Vortex. Oh, the Vortex Club. That's right. We talked about him. How could you forget? Sorry, I'm not feeling myself lately. Ah, fuck it. I'm not Anna. <laughs> I'm gonna. I want to spill the beans. We need everybody's help. You're not here now. You might want to sit down. Is something wrong? Did something happen to Anna? It's just nowhere to be found. She's gone. She should be at work around this time. Is anyone looking for her? I'm using her phone to find her. Me and a few people are searching. And you are... I'm Jesus fucking Christ. A friend. You're not answering my question. I just, I just fucking asked you. What the hell? I just answered your question, bitch. Hello? I know you're there. Why aren't you speaking? If anything happens to her, it's on you. Explain. <laughs> so she, she, she wants an explanation then she hangs up. Crazy bitch. Anna's dead. I wish I could. This must be an elaborate prank or something. I'm just going to look for her. If anything happens to her, you'll what? What are you going to do? I swear the police are going to be all over your ass. Well... You can help me with this. Her fate depends on you. I'll say that you can help me with this. Well, you can help me by not bothering me get lost. She needs to know. Right, Merv. Hello, lover boy. <laughs> Anna, where have you been? Everyone's been looking for you. I need a favour. Never asked me for anything before, what gives? Can you restore my phone data from my PC? Using another employee's PC is against policy. Why can't you do it yourself? I have to attend a family emergency. That can't be right. Shit. You're not Anna, aren't you? Fuck, I should have known. Okay, we are done. Do you want me to leak your dirty emails? Blackmail, yeah, baby. Is that what's happening? You know I can get sued for sharing company secrets, right? You still want access to Anna's computer? I'm not doing it. What if I post your emails all over Jabba? How about I send your emails to HR? No, 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 no. <laughs> okay, I'll do it. It's hard to hold this job in the economy as it is. I need to get a password reset for a PC. 
but HR will text you if you want to verify. You have to pretend to be Anna, otherwise they'll never give me access, okay? I'm a pro. You've done this before? Jeez. Just make it quick, okay? Hey Anne, got your password request today, but I didn't see you in today. Is everything okay? I was out with the client just now. Hmm, didn't know you were assigned to service in today. I must have missed something. Before I reset your password, can I run something by you first? Anything. You know the report you handed to me last week? I finally got to it. Ah yes, I hope everything is in order. Yes, but I do need to clarify something. It says here that you are making an official sexual harassment report against Merv. Oh, I did? Hey, we are taking this seriously, you should too. I brought this up to my manager and he told me to tell you to seriously think about this. Our company can't afford to get into a scandal right now. And sending lewd emails, while technically is reportable, is one of the smaller offences. Alright. His words, not mine. So he suggests you drop the report while he will have a talk with Merv. Put all behind and it might approve that study leave you've been meaning to get. But if you want, you can still let the report go through. Forcing Mr Faraday's hand is just going to upset him. What? I don't even understand what's going on here. Anything for the boss, hold back the report. All right, but if you ask me, you got to protect your own dignity. I totally understand where you're coming from. Oops, almost forgot. I just reset your password. Good, good, good. Like, to be fair, right? I need to get higher up in this company and I'm not going to get very high if they know that I keep just disclosing sexual harassment. So I'm going to keep my lips shut until I get very high up, very rich and successful, because that's apparently how you do it these days, lads. Uh, just, just so you know. Want to be rich and famous? Happily accept any sexual harassment that comes your way, and then complain about it later, because that's what everybody famous does, so fuck them. Nah, mate. If you get sexually harassed, report it immediately. Fuck them. Right, so, Merv. Got the rest, and I'm in. Remember what you're here for. Yeah, yeah, the phone back up, right? Give me a sec. It's starting now. It's going to take a while to complete. I don't understand what's going on, but you're not the only one who wants access to this computer, really. Who could it be? Well, I'm waiting for the reset. Some dude came by demanding to use Anna's computer. He caused quite a scene and security took him away. I think his name was Greg. Is he with you? I don't... I might know him. Well. Getting him in was not part of the deal. Your friend is going to regret doing that. Finally, it's done. Did you get it? Yes. Ashley, James, more mail. Did you get it? Yes. Oh. Oh, shit, went weird again. Am I back to being... Nothing seems... Oh, it's the weird guy again. Have you found her yet?
getting closer. Hurry. Wait there. You need to hurry. She is running out of time. Oh. She is running out of time. You need to hurry. Can you help me? Find me. The answer is in Spark. How do I know what to look for? She met me. She met it. I'm not it. It's not me. Find me. Find it. Don't know who you are, mate. I cannot remember. Time is short. If you fail, she will share my fate. I just realised the time's gone here, shit. <laughs> he took time to write a fucking surprise face. Right, how in? Look, it's the time she went missing. I've just realised. Between the 12th and 13th. Nothing is what it seems. Me. Fucked up, mate. Right. What's going on, with vlogger? Okay, look at this. Look at this crap. This entire email is in the subject line, and it's all in caps. That's just rude. Like, internet rude. God, and my dumb colleague won't stop texting me. Well, I hope not. <laughs> oh, God. I cannot wait to leave there. And work with animals. Yeah, because animals don't treat me like garbage. Still waiting on my vet school application, though. You're not going to vet school, man. You're not clever enough. See, I've done her a favour by not selling out... Not selling out her manager or whatever for sexual harassment because I've managed to get her to keep a job. See, I'm looking out for everybody. As long as she survives, of course. Male. Weekly Sparkle. Six ways globalisation will help you find love. Oh, no. No. No, thank you. Ashley. 58 chats with Ashley. I will make your profile for you. You. Come on. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fun. I'll take care of everything, okay? I'm gonna make your profile so good that even you would date yourself. And I think it's time to unleash the, hey, my I- I don't know if I really want to. I know I could date, but it feels like those apps are just objectifying anyway. It's oh, like objectifying. Like emperor at the Coliseum. Except, I guess they get no chance to fight because you're just looking at some stranger's selfies wondering if that's really their dog or if his ex took the photo. You're too cynical, pet. You just need to take it for what it is. Take it for on surface value. Crap. Sorry, 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 sorry. Almost there. Okay, I was doing an errand and it turned into a longer thing than I thought. Just stay put at the door. I'll, I'll be there soon. Right. Merv. Damn, it froze for a bit. Did you get the back up? It happened again. The deal is to help with the backup. I don't care if it works. What's done is done. I trust you're going to keep my chat with Anna a secret. 
Yeah, yeah, I will. Thank God. I swear she won't hear from me again. See, everything's worked out, Harry. As long as you don't do it again. Don't get caught next time, alright? That is hilarious. Don't do it again. Just keep me out of what you're doing. Jobs are good. That's just a compliment. Ah, see. No, I don't think he's a bad guy. He was just thirsty as fuck. Who is this? Greg. Fuck shit. I think I'm in trouble. I went to Anna's workplace. Something bad happened. Yeah, we know this. You're an idiot. Right, let them just... Let them keep digging. I'm going into Spark. James. Oh, hello, James. Who are you? Cat person, blah, blah, blah. Bet you get the wrong half, that wrong half the time. Got right every time so far. Uh, I suppose. <laughs> Massive sweeping generalisation incoming. But I bet you most of the women that end up on Tinder are fucking crazy cat ladies. Because nobody wants to fuck with crazy cat ladies. Fuck that shit. Statement, the sexual assault, blah, blah, right, right. For real, blah, blah, blah. It's Olna. That's the guy. I found him. James Olna, 22, works at Fresh Ideas. This is the guy that we've been speaking to that's, that's saying, help me, find me, and you'll find Anna. Oh, fuck, yeah, it is. What the fuck happened here? Right. Hey, I'll write you a kick-ass application. How? Apply for colleges like pro. Right, so what is this? Meet me this weekend and I'll show ya. Smooth. Fine, but you better actually be useful. I can think of a few things we can use. Haha, <laughs> like what? Depends on my mood. Fine, I'll think up for myself. Saturday night, 7pm 7 7 uptown. You're lucky that's good timing for me. So you ah, so she met up with him. Okay then. Gotcha, bitch. Message corrupted, how? Oh, look. When I first started out... That's what they're talking about. Fair enough. Tell me about the first spark girl. Right. This... I also matched with this girl known as Cassie. Ah, no, no, no. This girl named Cassie known as that. What? That's perfect English. I also matched with this girl named Cassie, known as Well, that's fucking correct, mate. Right, wait there. Match with this girl known as well it can't be that because Cassie's got a fucking comma so that I also matched with this girl known as Cassie named that Bruh, bruh, you're fucking pulling my plonker here, wait there. I also, also goes there, I also matched with this girl. Named Cassie. 
known as that. Man, fuck your stupid word puzzles. It's fucking it, it, it's the same thing. No matter which way I put the words, it means the fucking same thing. It means the same. I matched with Art Keeping at Cassie, this girl. That, I'm sorry. I'm so that's fucking right. That is right. I can't figure this shit out. It's fucking wank. This game is fucking wank. Oh, wait there. I just realised I can drag these around. I matched with this girl Cassie. Did that? Did I not write that? Did I? Did I not write that? Fucking at the start. I'm sure I did. Like, ah, she's cool, but she's like some big social media person or something. I'm not a fan of the attention. No way. So you passed the job as celeb? Are you even real? Is this still corrupted? Fucking hell, there's so many corrupted messages. Let's get through them. You don't seem like a techie, I'm not. How about you? I am a copywriter. It. I'm a copywriter. Making it, making, wait there, making stuff sound, wait there, I am a crappy copywriter, making stuff sound better than it looks. Oh, wait there, I'm a copywriter, making crappy stuff sound better than it looks. Bada boom, bada bing. Smooth text that only when it comes to seducing corporate clients. Right. So if you ever thought of putting power suits and waiting f writing for big brands. My. My. Position. At. Fresh. Ideas is still open. Bada boom, bada bing. My position of fresh idea is still open. Web design, so that's the way it works. I think I'll pass. Why stick around? Your job, you hate it, right? Just making a guess. You think I should just quit tort? So just walk to my boss and say, hey, I don't want money, K, thanks, bye. Well, yes, that's just generally how quitting works, mate. You stalking me. Spark is re Rebound City for most people anyways, to guess. So this is what she says for the first time we're doing one of her messages. Right, you have an unnatural talent of guessing my backstory. I'm a beast! Didn't have to, Anna. Your open book so easy to read. I just connected the dots. Okay, smart guy, what else can you read? I think you should take a break from everything from the job you hate, from the previous guy, whatever happened. Take a, vac a vacay and start new. That's so what I need. For a guy I barely, barely met, how come you know so much about me? Because I'm watching you right now through your window. 
So how much of an ass is he? Blah blah blah. Is this still corrupted? Apparently. Fucking hell. It's not. I've, I've uncovered everything. So where did he go? See you soon. Be there in an hour. I'm here. Where are you? I see you. Right. So we've done James. Okay then. Jabba. The sexual assault allegations against our tech director are unfounded due to lack of hard evidence. No, this has not happened. I reported him. I know the guy in our first encounter. Oh, he's done it to loads of people. This is the problem right here. Have you considered that he might just be innocent? We don't know. What was it? What was it? What was it? Oh, look at that for a post. He sexually assaults me at every opportunity. I have first-hand evidence including company emails that he uses just to rub it in even further. He's above the law and I was made to remove my complaint for risk of losing my job. This company protects sexual predators and needs to be outed. Bam, bada boom, bada boom. Bada boom, bada boom, bada bing, bing, bing. Fucking, I'm a, I'm a beast, me, like. Fucking Jabba, Twitter exposing sexual deviants. Right, well, I need to make sure this is saved because... How do I make sure it's saved? Busted. Did the blackmail and work? Went perfectly. Nice. So, what do you find in the... Find in the passport messages? Just read all of them. Right, it's saved. Good. All of them. And find out who did and I meet with exactly. Make sure you get all of them, okay? Right, what I'll do is, I'm going to call it an episode there. When we come back, we're going to speak to him and let him know what we found. And the guy we found was called James Olna. James Olna 22. That's the guy that's speaking to us when... Is that he, when we're using our own profile, which kind of is a weird thing. And we're running out of battery, so I wonder if... I wonder if this is actually timed or if it's just like as the game progresses. Okay then lads, hope you enjoyed the episode. See you in the next one.